field for this matchup between the Saints of St. Thomas Aquinas, who are hosting the Stags of Bishop Miege. Uh, my name is Nick DiCarlo. I'm here, happy to be here with you tonight alongside Morgan Reuter, Jr., St. Thomas Aquinas Saint girls soccer player. Morgan, you were here at the game the other night against Blue Valley Southwest. The Saints had a tough loss, 3-2, uh, to two, where they gave up the deciding goal in the final minute. Uh, what were your thoughts uh, on that game and the Saints play that night? Um, I think it was just they played good. They tried their hardest. I think it was just unfortunate that it ended out like it did. Yeah, a tough loss. Uh, the EKL is just uh, is, is going to be extremely competitive this year uh, between the, the Aquinas and uh, Blue Valley Southwest, as I mentioned, and uh, St. James and these stags of Miege. Speaking of uh, speaking of Miege, their record on the season is four and two, coming off of a loss to St. James by a score of two to one. Uh, last week uh, so uh, the Saints come into this game uh, an uncharacteristic two and four on the season uh, I've had a really difficult start to the uh, schedule to start the season uh, lost some key players from last year so a little bit of more youth on this team this year and uh, still uh, looking to find their footing and uh, start really scoring some more goals I think is the is the biggest thing so we'll be getting started here shortly. Uh, what are your uh, what are your thoughts on uh, some of the players to watch tonight, Morgan? Um, I think Bobby Bajorseth. Yeah, Bobby's uh, Bobby's been playing all over the field this year. Uh, he's kind of the utility man on the team. Uh, Really uh, slotted recently into the into the six that center defensive midfield position, and uh, I mean, he's a third year on varsity, junior captain. He's a, he's definitely uh, been a big player this year. Uh, you know, in the, in the games uh, uh, up till now, uh, Miles Law has been has been a key player, uh, been really solid in the back, and uh, extremely deadly on dead balls with several goals out of the air this year. So as for Miege, uh, they're they're going to be uh, looking to play out of their center back and center midfield. That's really where their strength is, uh, and uh, especially that midfield. Um, Miege is a, is a seven-time defending state champion in 4A, uh, looking for their eighth straight state championship this year, uh, and their uh, 11th overall. Um, the Saints uh, have not won the state championship since 2020, uh, but looking this year uh, to hopefully capture their 18th uh, state championship in the history of the program. Um, hard to believe uh, this is uh, Craig Ewing's 36th year at the helm here for the Saints. Um, you know, 36 years, 18 state titles. Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, two and four is definitely uh, something he's not used to this year. So um, Saints are looking to get back on track. And um, like I said, wide open EKL this year. So the teams are beginning to take the field and, uh, and we'll be kicking off here shortly. Uh, it's a beautiful night here uh, in Overland Park. Uh, the wind's blowing slightly. Uh, right to left from your screen uh, from the south to the north so saints will be going against the wind here in the first half uh, two starters out tonight for the saints uh, due to red cards in the last game uh, senior john weinrich uh, is out for this game uh, as is uh, he's a center back and uh, junior center midfielder spencer reagan uh, or, or he's out as well so getting his first start uh, varsity start tonight at left back will be Owen Kitts uh, and if you recognize that name he is yes the younger brother of Barrett Kitts uh, who graduated last year and is currently playing for uh, the Drake Bulldogs so I misspoke the Saints are actually going to be going uh, from right to left the Stags uh, from left to right to start the game so the Saints will have the wind in their back
good crowd on hand tonight. Um, this is always a, uh, an extremely competitive uh, and uh, uh, significant rivalry throughout the years. Um, you know, these two teams have, these two schools have faced off in some key games, several state championship games against one another uh, throughout the years. Uh, but now with Miege playing 4A and uh, the Saints playing in 5A, uh, this, this tends to be the only matchup uh, that they have throughout the season. So um, should be a good one, and we're set for kickoff. Stags played out right, and back to the middle. Possessing it out of the back. And Saints throw in here. That's uh, Bjorseth on the throw. He tends to take all of the uh, throw-ins down in the in the offensive end because he, uh, as you as you can see, uh, he can throw it a pretty long way. Uh, shot goes high, and uh, it's a Stags goal kick. Last year when these teams faced off, uh, Saints won the game uh, by a score, uh, uh, I believe, of one to nothing, but uh, that record has been wiped out due to a, uh, th they had to forfeit the game later on in the season uh, as a result of playing an, elig an eligible player, and so this it's counted as a, uh, a win for the Stags. Uh, so everywhere you look, it's going to show a one nothing win for Miege, but... Um, That was due to the forfeit. And the Stag's getting into the Saints end here. Uh, looks like we got a handball on uh, Cooper Welsh, so Stag's will have a free kick. Play it short. Liam Ryan was chasing there. Or er, er Laborvo, rather. Stags play it back. Stags controlling the possession early. We said the Stags uh, like to like to play the ball through the through the midfield and that's uh, proving to be true early on though the Saints on the counter here. Uh, Ryan is dispossessed, Stags player, and now here come the Stags. That's uh, senior captain Cooper Green on the ball, number two. Saints clear it out, but uh, Miege recaptures possession. There's Bajorseth playing it back to goalkeeper George Gogliano. Wide right to Miles Law. Beffert out to Laborvo. Down to Kitts in the corner, who crosses it, and the age goalkeeper with the save.
Saint Switchfields going up the right hand side. Back and there's uh, and Stags play it through. <clears throat> it's going to go all the way through to Gorgliano. We're five minutes in. Zero zero is the score. Saints moving the ball around the back. There's Welsh playing out left to Kitts. Kitts just a sophomore, uh, as mentioned, making his first varsity start tonight. Alex Beeson, the other uh, player, moved into a uh, spot to fill in for, uh, for John Weinrich tonight uh, at center back. And here's Liam Ryan with the shot and the block. Baffert shot in another block by Miege. And that's going to be a foul on the Saints free kick stags. Morgan, what are your thoughts on the, the pace of play so far? Um, I think it's moving pretty fast, not too fast, but... They're doing a good job keeping the ball and moving it upfield. Yeah, I think uh, both teams, uh, it looks like an equal matchup so far. Both teams kind of feeling each other out. I expect the pace of play to pick up here pretty soon. But there's no doubt both teams are we're up for this game tonight, as they always are whenever the Stags and the Saints face off against each other in any sport, really. The Miege Stags are coached by Nate Hoppe, uh, who is in his uh, 20th season on the staff, his ninth as head coach. And that'll be a throw in for Miege. The matchup we see tonight is between the, the two team, the two schools in the state of Kansas that ha have uh, that each have the most state championships uh, out of any schools, any other schools in the state. Um, the Saints, as mentioned, with 18, the Stags uh, with 11, and that'll be offsides on Miege. <laughs> Saints have 17, rather, going for their 18th. Morgan, you're a goalkeeper uh, for our girls' team here. So as uh, from your perspective, uh, a game like this, uh, mostly being played in the middle of the field, not a whole lot of shots yet. Um, what, w what would your thoughts be as you were standing back there as a goalkeeper at this point in the game? Um, just probably just preparing yourself for... Uh, that pace to pick up, I'm sure. And staying ready. Miege moving the ball on the right side. Oh, and Saints gain possession. 
Beeson plays it to Ryan. And is dispossessed by Miege defender. And a flick on. Dangerous opportunity for the Stags, but Cooper Welsh steps in to make the save. Miege with the ball. Moving it around the back. Miege plays it out wide to number eight, Luke Whitmore. Back to uh, junior captain Paul Rodriguez, number 11. Uh, and that'll be out of bounds for a Saints throw in. Got some subs coming in for the Saints. <clears throat> Into the game for the Saints up top. Uh, number 16, Brody Siebert. Uh, a sophomore who's uh, has really come on, uh, become a dangerous threat for the Saints up top. And here come the Saints. Miege defender with the tackle. Long ball played up to the left side. Ball played into the box by Miege. Guagliano comes up with it. Jorseth. Kitts and Tia Beckel. But Jorseth with the ball. Miege gains possession, and here they come, straight up the middle of the field. Welsh gets his foot on it, and that'll be a corner kick for the Stags. I don't know, I don't know about you, Morgan, but uh, early on, very impressed with Owen Kitts here at the left back position. Um, does not look intimidated by the moment, uh, being his first varsity start. Um, any any uh, any thoughts you have early on, on any in individual players? Um, I think Bobby is really standing out. Um, how he's playing. Yeah, he just adds so much stability in the middle of the field. Um, very good at possessing the ball and very strong on the ball. It's very fast too. Yes, and. Uh, He's got wheels. Speaking of, here comes Siebert, and he steps over the ball. Miege plays it up, and it's collected by Welsh. He plays it out wide to Kitts. The way that, uh, that Miege tends to, to load up the middle of the field, uh, can cause some problems for the Saints in the middle, but it could also create some opportunities out wide, uh, as we're seeing when our outside 
uh, backs tend to get the ball. They usually have some space to to carry it forward. So um, hopefully they can keep taking advantage of that and create some opportunities of our own here. Looks like there's some more saint, uh, subs coming in. A couple for the Saints and one for the Stags. And that'll be a Saints throw-in. And so you're back in contesting the ball there. Sarmiento in for the Saints. Ryan re-enters the game. Miles Law has slid into the center back position uh, when Beeson went out earlier. So the depth of the Saints will uh, certainly be tested tonight with two key players out. Um, you know, Weinrich being a senior captain, center center back who uh, rarely uh, exits the game. Um, losing him is a uh, is a big deal. As is uh, starting uh, midfielder Spencer Reagan Jr. Uh, he's had a good year. And there's Siebert, uh, the age keeper, comes up with the save. Stags possessing it up the field. Play a ball into the box. Welsh trying to clear it, blocked by White Gar. Miege still with possession. Stags still possessing. Gar switches the field. Ball played up the middle. And so clearing it out. And there's Laborvo up to Ryan, who oh. is fouled. Saints free kick. Referee speaking to Befford about something. Not sure. Not sure what. Uh, but Welsh is going to take this kick. Uh, we mentioned Miles Law deadly on in the air. He's uh, he's up up near the box, making a run into the box on this ball, and there he is. And they're looking for looking for Law, but uh, Miege keeper comes up with the save. That'll be offsides on the Stags. Kits on the ball. Sarmiento in tackle by number six. Kyler Hurlbert from the age. And here's Beffert moving it up. Siebert plays it out wide. 
And that looked like uh, Morgan, was that Liam Ryan out there on the ball? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. And the Stags moving the ball around the back. I'd say overall, uh, it seems like the Stags have been had a little better possession. Uh, and that'll go out of bounds. No, it won't. Uh, out for a throw-in, a Miege throw-in. Stags seem to be uh, uh, possessing the ball a little more. The Saints seem to be attacking at a little faster pace, wouldn't you say, Morgan? Yeah, I agree. I think we've had better opportunities. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, we're, uh, we're creating more dangerous opportunities, but the Stags are doing a very good job of, of controlling the ball, and that's, uh, that's obviously a very good way to, to keep the Saints from, um, from getting possession and getting those opportunities. And that's a long throw in into the box. Dangerous ball. Uh, and the clear by Ryan up to Siebert. Plays it back to Ryan. There's Sarmiento bringing it down. Calling for a handball there, but not, not called by the official. And Welsh gaining possession in the corner. And he's going to play it out of bounds for a, for a Stags, Stags throw. And let's we'll see if we see that long throw in again. That was, uh, that was pretty impressive and very dangerous. Hmm. Whitmore. A junior with throwing. Into the box. And that's a tough show. Welsh with the block. Stag's getting some dangerous opportunities here. Welsh trying to clear it. And Enzo clears it, but Miege is going to keep possession. And the Saints laying on their heels right now. Clear it, but back to Miege. Rodriguez plays it out wide left. Stacks possessing up the left hand side. And Beffert's going to clear it out of bounds for Stags throwing. Big switch by Miege. And there's Laborvo gaining possession. Playing it up to Siebert. Collects it, tries to play it to Sarmiento, but played it behind him, and now Miege has the ball again. And here's a dangerous situation. Shot way over the goal by Cooper Green for Miege, and that's going to be a Saints goal kick. So four four subs in for the Saints. That's a that's a big substitution. Uh, I think uh, Coach Ewing. Must have seen what's been going on for the past five minutes and needing to change things up. And uh, Morgan, you mentioned uh, Bajor said he had been on the bench for that entire 
little stretch there where Miege was pounding us and we're in, having trouble gaining possession. So let's see if that changes. Miege possessing the ball. And the Saints gain possession and lose possession. Baffert out wide. To Rebele. No, it's not. Oh, and there. It's like a little physicality there in front of the Saints bench. Looks like it's going to be a free kick for the Saints. That'll be Welsh taking the kick. Law up in the box again, so Welsh is gonna take this. He's got a he's got a strong left foot. Uh, doesn't get quite underneath that one enough. And uh, but the Saints will keep possession. Befford out to Welsh, and there's a ball in from Welsh. Dangerous ball that nice keeper. Save. Yeah, very good save. You get nervous when you're play, when you're playing keeper and balls like that come in, Morgan. I do because sometimes I don't realize how close or far away I am from the goal. Yeah, that's uh, I would imagine. I've never been a keeper myself, but um, but I would imagine that would that would make it tough. And hey. Better off the corner. Didn't see who that went off of, but Saints still with possession. Miege with the block. And the ball is out of bounds for a Stags goal kick, but the Saints creating some, some action on offense there. We've got about 12 and a half minutes left to play in the first half here. And the score's still tied 0-0. Uh, both teams with some good opportunities thus far in the first half. And uh, and I think we're starting to see that pace pick up a little bit. There's Bajorseth on the ball, and uh, Miege will gain possession. Good win by Beeson there. And ball back to Guadriano and the dangerous ball out to Welsh. But he Gets it and plays it up to Kitts. Kitts loses it, but, and the Saints get it and give it back once again. Miege with the ball. Saints will play it, or the Stags play it up to uh, Saints. Stags get it, and the Saints win the ball back. There's Law on the ball right now, who plays it long up the right hand side. That's Liam Ryan over there with the ball. And there's Baffert playing the ball in, and oh. that's a shot and a save and a oh Saints goodness. goal. The ball went went out wide to the right. Law played it all the way back to the back post. Who was that on the left hand side there, Morgan, that played it back across and number ten, Jaden Janeway. I'm so not sure. Janeway Janeway put it in. And I believe uh, that might have been Rebelay uh, that uh, that collected it 
in the corner and played it back across the middle. The Stags keeper got a hand on it, uh, but could not grab hold of it. And uh, Janaway was there to, to clean it up. And it's one nothing Saints with 11 minutes to go in the first. So let's see if uh, let's see if either team adjusts to where they're playing now. As uh, the Saints got the goal, I would imagine the uh, Stags. We could see a little more sense of urgency out of the Stags, but here a little more confidence out of the Saints. It looks like right off the bat. Laborvo on the left side, playing it into the middle. It looks like it went out of bounds for a Stags goal kick. As I mentioned earlier, beautiful night here uh, at St. Thomas Aquinas. It's, uh, it's about oh. set. Uh, now it looks like a foul. Saints foul, long whistle. We know what that means. Kitts is being uh, called over by the center official. We had a uh, Saints fan. Uh, Taking exception to that call, it looks like, or at least uh, the lack of call right before that. No card given, just a warning. So the Stags will have a free kick from right around midfield. And they'll play it long into the box. That was Lopez on the ball. Yeah, Saints clear it and Saints have possession. That's Ryan with the ball there who plays it up to Laborvo. Who plays it out wide to Kitts. There's that, that opening on the outside and a nice ball by Kitts to Ryan. Who's tripped up and Stags are making a move but it looks like Welsh is gonna track this one down Steps over. And good ball to Bajorseth right here around midfield. And Laborvo turns it over. But there's Law there to make the save, so uh, Saints have possession again. Here's Kitts on the ball. I think when we have the ball, what we do better than what Miege does is connect passing, passes and moving it up the field fast. Yeah, I would tend to agree. Uh, the Stags' possession has been more playing it around the back, um, less actual um, a dangerous advancement up the field, uh, whereas uh, we've been, uh, we, the Saints have been playing a little more direct style of soccer that uh, so far has resulted in some good opportunities. There's a dangerous ball. Uh, cleared out by Gagliano. But I think that's a good observation there, Morgan. Befford on the ball. And there's a tackle by Rodriguez. Saints with possession. To Jorseth to a bull though. Out wide. Saints lose the ball. That was Ryan with the ball there. Stags clear it. And Saints have the ball back. That was uh, Bajorsif heading the ball in, and that is secured by the Miege keeper. Yeah. 
Gamboa has been the keeper all night thus far for the Stags and uh, done a pretty good job. Each keeper, I'd say, has been equally tested so far tonight. The Stags free kick on their end of the field. Just near midline and uh, balls played up to Rodriguez. Cleared out by Law. And the ball will go out of bounds for a Miege throw. And a couple subs coming on for the Stags here. Uh, we've got five and a half minutes left to play in this first half. The scoreboard saying uh, two shots on goal for the for the Saints and none for the Stags. Is that right, Morgan? Have they not had any shots on goal? It, they, it says one shot on goal for the Stags. Uh, the, I, my view was blocked there. Two shots for the Saints, one for the Stags. Saints threatening here. Oh, and that will be a foul and a free kick from about five yards outside the penalty box for the Saints. Dangerous area. It's going to be Welsh, Morgan. Looks like it. Yeah, I think it was Bobby who went down. But Jorseth took the foul. Uh, looks like Welsh is on the ball for the free kick. Lights. Official is setting the wall there for the stands. And the shot is saved by Welsh. And Stags with the ball on the counter. But there's Beeson to scoop it up. And that's a foul on the Stags for a Saints free kick. Good shot there on the free kick by Welsh. Um, and Welsh will be taking this free kick from, from just inside of midfield. We've got three minutes left to play in the half. That was a nice kick, beautiful. The ball has played long into the box. Yeah, Gamboa with a nice save there, but, but that left foot, uh, of Cooper Welsh is uh, is a nice weapon for the Saints. Um, so you can see why he and Law have connected for so many goals so far early on in the season. Cooper Welsh also a starter on the basketball team here at St. Thomas Aquinas. Good athlete and this is Miege with playing the ball in, there's Welsh clearing it with his head, and there's a shot. Sails just wide of the goal for Miege, and this will be a Saints free kick. Guagliano will take the free kick, or the, the goal kick. Tags gain possession. A minute and a half left to go in the half. There's Law on the ball. Clears it out of bounds. Stags throw in. And Miege. That was uh, 
Lope, Julius Lopez, who played it long up to Guagriano, who will uh, punt it away here. Stags with possession. We're under a minute to go in the half. And Saints have the ball now. There's Kitts carrying it forward. Just past midfield up to Ryan who has it stolen by Rodriguez. Rodriguez has been a little, pretty impressive player tonight. There he is on the ball down there. Dangerous ball in. Header. Skies over the goal. And that will probably do it for the half uh, as Guagliano gets a new ball from the ball boy. We're down to under 10 seconds to play in the half. So this will take us into halftime. And there's the buzzer. Our score at halftime. St. Thomas Aquinas Saints 1. Bishop Miege Stags 0.
And we're back for uh, half number two here at St. Thomas Aquinas Stadium, uh, or Foot Family Field. Nick DiCarlo here with Morgan Reuter. Saints with the kickoff. Saints passing it out wide. Ooh. That's going to be a foul on Miege. Game seems to be getting a little more physical as we as we move along here. Intensity is picking up. into the box and <clears throat> another good ball by Welsh and the keeper's gonna punt it out with Miege getting possession of it nice slide tackle And out of bounds for a Miege throw. -in. Great tackle by Welsh there. It's always dangerous going on the ground in the in the penalty box. Pretty risky. Got to be sure because anytime you go down and that uh, offensive player goes down, chances of a PK tend to be pretty high. And Those it's headed out by Miles Laws. out up top shot blocked by that was Welsh yeah. he's blocked several shots tonight having a nice game Julius Lopez for the throw in for the Stags Look for one of these long throw-ins again here. Reminiscent. Shot. Oh. Well, header. A lot of history of long throw-ins here at Aquinas. <clears throat> um, most notably, back in the early 90s, Chris Arrigan. I could throw it probably three fourths across the field. Miege has possession. Passing it down the middle. Oh. Good tackle by Miles Laws. Miege out wide. It's going to be a corner kick for Miesh. Looks like the Saints are bringing everybody back except for Ryan to defend the corner kick. Saints back with the possession. Stags. Oh, 
Jags got it back. And foul on the Saints. Oh, yeah, that's going to get called. That is probably going to yield. No, just a warning. Seriously? Getting very chippy out there. I mean, this game's probably going to go a long way in, uh, or could go a long way in deciding <coughs> the EKL race. Saints already own a victory over St. James, losing to Southwest. Stags, a loss to St. James. Still a lot of soccer to be played though this season. Across for the Stags. Cleared out by Saints. Saints with a possession. Stags got it back. And out of bounds on the Saints for a Stags throw. Another long throw in from Lopez. Saints again keep <clears throat> have 10 back with Liam Ryan staying forward. And Corner kick. Yep. Lopez again. And that's goal for the Stags. Stags goal. <laughs> You know, unfortunately, what happens when you keep giving them throw-ins and corner kicks down at that end. Uh, bad things are going to happen. And score is now tied at one. Did you see who put that in, Morgan? Um, I think it was Grant Belmer. There was a fracas in front of the goal, and um, yeah, Stag player uh, sounds like Belmer got Belmer uh, got his got his leg on it. So back even. Stags with the possession. Stags have a little pep in their step now. Back out wide. Across. Looks like the offsides flag went up. Got the first touch. Stags now with the possession. Out wide. And a foul on the Saints.
Saints, Saints absorbing some pressure here to start the second half. First 10 minutes have been pretty much all me age. With the kick for the Saints, number 19, Austin Lopez. And a save by George. Gagliano, a senior, uh, still uh, undecided on his uh, college selection for next year. Jaden running up, crossing it, not going to get there. Beeson now with the ball. Stags back with the possession. Back to the Saints. Back to Stags. Miles Laws with the ball. Going out wide. And a foul on the Stags. So here's where we'll see that left foot from Welsh again into the box. As we watch Miles Laws jogging up. Try and get on the end of this. These seem to be where the Saints are most dangerous, plays like this. And it's going to be a good goal kick for the Stags. Saints with the ball in the back. Going out wide. And back to the center. Ryan contesting there. Miege now with the ball. And it's going to be a Saints throw in. Looks like we got a substitution for the Saints. Looks like you have a call. Came in for the Saints there. Miege with getting it out. That's going to be called. And there goes the ref into his pocket. Beffert with the yellow card. Looked like uh, Rodriguez was about to take off there, so probably not a bad foul by Beffert. Um, although he'll be playing, have to play careful the rest of the game for the yellow.
We've got both Yubical brothers in now. Saints with the ball. Oh. Jaden Janeway. Yep. He was going for the tee ball there. It's going to be a corner kick for the Saints. This will be Welsh on the corner. You may know this, Morgan. Uh, you may not know it, but uh, uh, Coach Ewing, uh, without exception, I guess whenever he's got a left foot, as long as he has a left footed player on the team, he's always going to have an in swinging corner kick. Uh, as a keeper, what do you find to be more uh, dangerous, or do you have an opinion one way or the other, an in swinging corner kick? that's coming towards the goal, bending towards the goal, or an outswinging corner kick that's bending away from the goal but towards the oncoming offensive players? I think for me it's more, I don't know, I get more like nervous when they swing out because if it starts swinging in, I'll kind of like creep up to the ball and then it's like all of a sudden it just like goes out. Uh -huh. And then I'm out of position and not ready for if someone just comes by and just, like, kicks it in. Makes sense. I, I've, I've never really uh, gotten a goalkeeper's perspective on that, but that's something that ever since back when I was playing for Coach Ewing, he's always been very staunch about it. He likes them swinging in. But a lot of coaches feel differently. I think the most common one people see is swinging in. Yeah, it seems that way. But I can see what you're saying. When the ball's swinging out, then you're going to be more likely to step off your line uh, and perhaps too far off your line. Beffert with the ball out wide, clearing it out of bounds. Staggs with the ball, and out on Jaden Janeway. Julius Lopez with the throw in. Here we go. Pass to Jaden Janeway and taken away by the Stags. It's Rodriguez. He's been he's been all over tonight. He draws the foul. is going to let that one go out for a Saints throw in. In for the Saints, number 13, Hunter Norbong, and 16, Brody Sieber. Looks like Coach Ewing moved Kitts over to the right side for the second half from the left side. Uh, but he did a really solid job in the entire first half. Maverick Farrar is now in goal for the Saints. I did not notice that change. Did, did you see something happen to, to George Morgan? No, I 
I think they just switched. I saw him warming up on the side. Okay. Maverick has had a lot of relief duty this season, it seems. Um, Guagriano's got last last game. Guagriano got injured on a uh, on a play in the box, which actually resulted in a Blue Valley Southwest penalty kick. Uh, Guagriano then had to exit the game, and Ferrar had to had to come into the game. And uh, first thing he did was had to do was try to save a PK, which unfortunately was not able to. Tough way to enter a game, but. Um, by all accounts, had a good game after that. Kits with the ball out wide. Going to be shoved a little by number two. So it looks like Laws is going to take this kick. And Welsh is gonna gonna go forward. With the kick for the Saint, number four, Miles Laws. Great ball. Twenty minutes left to play. We're knotted at one. Stags now out shooting the uh, Saints. Uh, three shots on goal to the Saints too. Baffert had the first touch. Miege now with possession. Saints having trouble maintaining a uh, lengthy possession here in the second half. It's a good tackle by Bajorsa. Gets up a little gingerly, but it looks like he's okay. like we've got some uh, admonishment taking place for spectators using flash photography. Mia is moving up the field. Nice, but whoa. That was Laws with the tackle, I think. Yes. Yeah. Field again. And throw in for the stags. Another throw in for the stags. Official seems to be letting him play at this point. <coughs> Fair amount of physicality. Uh, he's going to call that one, though. Julius Lopez got the yellow card for the Stags. 
That was good work by Genoway. Drawing that foul. Looks like Majorseth is going to get a breather. with the kick for the Saints. Stags have possession out wide. Beffert with the steal. And out of bounds for a Saints throw in. Kids will throw it in. Another throw in for Kits. You know, throughout the years, there have been a lot of games uh, where the Saints have, in, in more, more years than not, the Saints have significant talent advantage over the Stags. Uh, but these games are always competitive regardless. This year, though, um, the, the talent level seems uh, to be a little more equal, so the game is reflecting, reflecting that thus far. Maverick for our clearing it. Stags with possession. Kicking it up to number two. Shot and over and wide. Dangerous opportunity. A little bit of a miscue there by Laws, but. Uh, Bajorsa back in the game. Morgan, did you happen to know that. Uh, um, there was a year, I don't remember the exact year, I believe it was, uh, might have been 2000, where uh, the Saints and the Stags were set to play each other for the state championship game in Manhattan. Uh, the game got canceled, I believe due to snow, uh, or postponed due to snow, and so they had to play the game uh, a week later, uh, and they ended up playing it here at St. Thomas Aquinas. So Aquinas Miege for the state championship. Boys at Aquinas. And uh, Miege pulled off the victory, which is. I did not know that. Yeah, it was. Uh, That many times over. There's the long throw. And shot, maybe. Dangerous opportunity for the Saints. That looked like a handball. Was it in the box? I don't think so. Right, right outside the box. Right. Right on the edge. So, great opportunity for the Saints. It looks like looks like it's going to be Welsh. Welsh and who's on the ball with him? Is that Bobby? Um, can't see the number. Yes, 
Welsh going for that far upper corner and just misses it wide. In for the Stags, Tim Drew Bergfeld. Bergfeld into the game for the Stags. Bergfeld's a junior. Saints with possession. It's going to go out of bounds for... Oh, never mind. Saints throwing. That looks, again, just outside of the box. That'll be a yellow card. No question about that one. That was Ryan taking the ball up the left side. Creating an opportunity, and now uh, the Saints will have a, a great chance here with a free kick from just outside the box on the left hand side. With the kick for the Saints, 15, Liam Ryan. Beeson stays back, but. And Janeway is a few yards outside the penalty. Saints back with possession. Going to try again with the shot on. Uh, it's wide. Saints really putting the pressure on here with 11 minutes left in the second in the game. In regulation, I should say. Goal kick for the Stags. Ferrar with the ball. Going out wide to Miles Laws. And up to Kitts. Yeah, he's tried to sneak one in there, but the ball went off the stags and it's a Saints throw. Kits with the throw in for the Saints. Miege with possession. Back to their defense. Oh. oh. So it looked like there were two fouls there, but they called the first one, which was on the Saints. Very easily could have called the retaliation uh, on Bergfeld. Ooh, extended his arm, <coughs> shoved Jane away pretty much right in the face. Miege kicking it in the middle. Oh! Uh -huh. Tried to bicycle kick it. And a shot blocked and cleared. Looked like Miege player landed on. Possibly landed on his head. Brody Siebert up top. Oh. 
Ball still loose. Oh my goodness. Tension there. Dangerous run by Siebert. Out wide for the Stags. Seemed like it started when that uh, MH player, I believe it was Bielmir, uh, attempted that ill advised bicycle kick. Saints gain possession from there. And Beffert went on with the, the counter. Ball. And Miege is just going to clear it. Tried to pass it, nobody was there. Saints definitely ramping up the pressure here in the last uh, seven minutes or so. Siebert with the shot on goal. Looked like Siebert. Siebert might have been calling for a handball there. Ref didn't, wasn't calling it. Couldn't see it from, from my vantage point. But Saints are creating some opportunities. Hits with the throw in. Yeah, Beck all is dispossessed too. Miege now with the possession with possession. <laughs> Offsides. Flag was up. Looks like Bajorseth has been moved uh, from the middle out wide left there. I think uh, looks like Coach Ewing is pleased with uh, the elder Yvekal's play since he's entered the game, so uh, so he's staying in in the middle. On the Saints. Siebert also getting some valuable minutes here late. As the Saints are looking for for the go ahead goal. Stags are moving the ball quick. I think that's something that they changed from the first half. Stags have speeded up their their play, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very apparent. And it's gonna be throw in for the stags. We've got 420 left to play. Foul on the Saints on Janeway. Look like there's a looks like there's a couple of Saints players getting ready to enter the game over there. Can't tell who it is. Looks like probably uh Nathan Laborvo was who I was going to say, yeah. Ferrar with the ball. And out wide. Ferrar has not been 
tested quite as much as Fagriano was since he's entered the game, but done a solid job. Cleared by Miege. <laughs> Miege back with possession to the center. Oh, that's dangerous. And oh. And oh my goodness. We've got a PK. And a red card. Red card for Cooper Welsh. It was a, uh, it's a tough play there because he didn't really have much of a choice. He almost made a clean tackle there, but uh, but from that position, it's it's really tough to to get the ball without getting the player. And unfortunately, he took the player, and now Farrar gets to. Face another PK. Yeah, this reminds me of the last game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, less than a minute in that one, right? And gave one up. And he missed it. Rodriguez hits it wide. I think that's a big relief for the Saints. I would say so. So the Saints have the momentum with two and a half minutes to play. Score still tied. What a break. What a break. Seems to be some confusion. Saints with new life after the, the missed penalty kick by Rodriguez. Rodriguez has been so good all game. I uh, was not expecting that. Stags with the ball. Passing to the center. A little contact there at the top of the box, but good no call. Stags putting some pressure on here in the last couple minutes. Like, is that an offsides call, Morgan? Uh, yes. A yellow card. A yellow card was handed out. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what on, but I just saw the ref holding up the yellow card. Okay. I think it was to one of the Saints players. So there's 20 seconds left here. This this is the going to be the Saints' last chance in regulation before we go to overtime. The ball will be cleared, and uh, we're going to get some. Extra soccer tonight. One to one after regulation.
back for overtime here. Uh, so the overtime rules, two 10-minute sudden death periods, or as uh, also referred to as golden goal. So we'll play 10 minutes here. If we're still tied at the fir after the first 10 minutes, there will be a two-minute intermission, and we'll play another 10 minutes or until somebody scores. After the two 10-minute periods, it will end in a tie. So no PKs? No PKs in, reg in the regular season, correct. Miege with the ball. Cleared by the Saints. Reminder, with that red card for uh, oh. for Welsh, the Saints are playing a man down. So it is 11 stags to 10 Saints out there on the field right now. That's dangerous. Oh, shot on goal. That was very close. What's he calling here? Looked like he called a foul. On Miege there, number two. Farrar with a good save. That would have ended the game. Very dangerous opportunity. Miles with the free kick. Stags have possession. That's dangerous, but fortunately, the flag is up. Offsides. Miege coming out with a little more uh, energy here this first overtime period. The Saints need to step it up. Stags. Across, caught by Maverick Farrar. Saints need a good possession here. You know, plenty of times I've seen teams go a man down and and because everybody knows that they've got to do a little bit extra, uh, they end up playing better a man down than they did at full strength, but so far not the case for the Saints. Stags. Exposing the advantage that they've got. That's a dangerous ball. Offsides. Nope. No offsides. Saints fortunate to not get a foul called on Miles Laws there. Without Welsh, it seems like we're certainly looking vulnerable up the middle. Looks like Laws is manning the center back position all by himself there. So we will be missing uh, Cooper Welsh now for the next game as well. In for the Saints, number 11, Christopher Clutt, and 19, Adam Yebako. Also in for the Saints, number 16, Brody Seymour. Oh, look at that 
Eddie Ubico back in. He played some um, some really solid minutes in that in that second half there. After I don't think he even appeared in the first half. So Coach Ewing clearly gaining confidence and having him in the midfield there. Stags with the ball. Out wide. Back to the middle. And a cross. No. Long ball up. <laughs> Out to Kitts. Actually looks like Bajorseth is playing playing at the center back position with Laws. He was sliding a little bit left there, so. Keeper for the Stags has it. Great win by Beeson. The, mm, nice slide tackle by Miej. Farrar getting there before the stat, sat, stags do. Throw in for the Saints. Could be dangerous. Miege with the ball. Saints now with the possession. Siebert trying to get there. Bounds. So Morgan uh, and uh, and Max, you guys, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind telling Mrs. Paradise that uh, we need some monitors in here because it's really challenging to see down into the corner when you're sitting in the seat right here. So um, if you're listening, Samantha Paradise, we can use some monitors. Flag is up. It's going to be offsides for me, Age. Looks like there's a yellow card being administered. Referee heading over to the Stags bench. Not sure which individual over there got that, but. Might have been Coach Huppy. Miles Laws is gonna kick it for the Saints. A minute 40 to go here in the first overtime period. Stags have it now. Oh. Beeson's down. Looks like he took a hit to the mouth. And 
And there's the yellow card for number four. That for Bielmere. So he will step off of the field. High school rule, yes. after receiving a yellow card, must exit the game. I think, I just watched the replay, I think it might have been an elbow to the mouth. Elbow to the mouth, yeah, that's what it looked like from here. So Laws is going to look to drop this into the box here. Hopefully we can get a Saint on the end of this one. Great ball. Stags have the ball now. Great tackle by Laws. Um, Stags throw in. 40 seconds to play. It's going to be another Stags throw in. Out. Quick throw for the Saints. <laughs> Ref was not uh, was not satisfied with the placement of the throw-in. So there's the end of the period. Still one-one. Uh, we got a two-minute break here, and then we'll uh, we'll begin our second overtime period. And once again, uh, first team to score will be the winner. We're back for the second overtime period here. Morgan, how you feeling? Um, I think it's been a pretty good game overall. I hope we can score in these last 10 minutes. Yeah, it's going to be tough uh, being a man down. I would say that Miege definitely had the better of the play in that first 10-minute period, but um, we got a, a fresh 10 minutes here, so... Miege is going to start with the ball. Okay. 
Saints going with Siebert up top. Addie Abekal remains in the game. Beffert in the middle. Out wide for Miege. Gonna cross it. Laws and Bajorsic still. Still manning the center, center back positions. Miles is gonna take the goal kick. Kit's still out on left back and and uh, Christopher Cluck is the right back spot. And Jane Away is also playing up top of Siebert. More danger. Oh, nice block by Miles Laws. Gonna clear it. Oh, cross for the That's Miege. Nice block. That was Kitts coming from. And I think Kitts is a little. I'm out of position. Yeah, it looked like he might have tweaked an ankle or something. Shake it off, Owen. Appears to be fine. Amused with possession. And there's a goal. We talked early in the game about the Stags attacking up the middle. And once the Saints went down a man, they did it all game, but once the Saints went down a man, it was it was uh, just even more apparent that, that that was what they were going to be looking to do. And they did that the entire overtime period. And that's how we ended. So thanks, Morgan. Enjoyed it. Me too. And good night from Foot Family Field at St. Thomas Aquinas.